Hello everyone, I'm Brandon and I will be disassembling a Surface Laptop SE that I have right here before me. Uh, we'll first start with the removal of the screws in the back on the rear. We'll need a T6 Torx driver and there are seven of these. This should allow you to remove the trackpad and keyboard on the other side, and I'll show you that in just a second. The good thing about this device is you don't have to remove the rubber feet in order to get into the device. As you can see, I'm going around them. Now we go back to the front. So in order to access the internals of the device, you simply need to pull with your fingers or tool and unsnap the sides. Once you get all sides unsnapped, we want to remove the trackpad and key set FPC. On this step, you need a pair of tweezers to undo the locking bar on both of these. And they should pop right out. We have this removed. So the next thing you want to do with any uh, removal is to disconnect the battery power source. And then uh, any other connectors in the board, you could uh, go for it and remove. Take out the display connector. It's also a locking bar. I can remove coax cables that also go to the display for the antenna. We'll switch our bit to a PH0 Phillips driver and proceed with removal of the AB cover display module. There are four screws there. And the AB cover should pull right out. The good thing about this design is that everything is modular. You can take out everything all at once or, um, I mean, individually, independent. So we'll remove the battery. Next. There was a lot of work that went into designing this device to be so repairable. So kudos to all the cross-functional teams that helped get this where it is. Uh, we'll remove the battery by grabbing onto the frame. Set that off to the side. Next, we'll remove the uh, Wi-Fi module, one single screw. Lift and pull. Let's disconnect the speaker from the motherboard. Then we'll proceed with the motherboard removal. And the remaining motherboard screws. If you notice, I did not have to change the driver. So it's really nice for repair. 
and we can simply pull the motherboard out. Next, we'll take out the speakers. Simply just pull them. Be careful about the wire. It's routed into the bucket. There is a piece of tape that needs to be removed. Once we have that derouted, we can pull the speaker module. Set it off to the side. I'm removing the internal power connector from the chassis, which is the last step before you have a completely um, empty chassis. So the first thing removed was this component here, which is our trackpad key set. We call it a C cover. Um, this has some snaps around it uh, that are molded in. And so we just simply pull them out, snap them unsnap them from our uh, bucket. This is the bucket which holds all of the internals. So once you remove this, uh, you unsnap this C cover from the bucket, you have to hold it at an angle and then you have to remove the trackpad and the key set FPCs, um, the cable connectors, and they connect into the motherboard. The next thing, this AB cover, um, which is our display module. And to remove that, you simply take four screws, Phillips screws out of the hinges. And this releases from the chassis of the device. With the key set removed, you have, an, uh, you have the ability to access the battery independently of anything else. So you remove the battery by removing um, a number of screws uh, from the bucket and it's framed so it's Pretty nice, you just remove it, no adhesive. And then you have a, the motherboard that is held down in place and accessible immediately after removing the C cover with a, four screws. And then the last uh, major component is the speaker module, which um, there it's held in place with some grommets and over some, uh, some retention features. And you just simply pull that out after disconnecting it from the motherboard.